Well, we're three and a half weeks into the new year, and if you promise to follow a diet or exercise program, you may have failed at it by now. And if you haven't, you're about to. Research in Psychology Today shows that women will, uh, uh, will give up on a diet after an average of five weeks, two days, and 43 minutes. That means that by February 7th, the majority of women will have ditched their New Year's resolution to lose weight. There has to be a better way, and thankfully there is. The WISE philosophy is a wellness program developed by a Montreal woman who gets to the heart of why some people overeat. The 75-hour program gets to the root cause of emotional hunger and helps participants manage their stress and anxiety. And joining me now, the founder and executive director of the WISE program, Claire Lord, and a successful participant in the program, Marilyn Meikle. Thank you both so much for coming in. Thank you. Let's start with you, Claire. Uh, uh, what is WISE and how did you come up with it? <laughs> <laughs> what is WISE and how did I come up with it? Good question. Uh, so WISE, as you mentioned, is a wellness program. It's comprehensive, it's long-term, it's 75 hours over 10 months. It's the only program of its kind in Canada, actually. Um, and it's, as you mentioned, it's really, um, our slogan is stop telling yourself to eat less and exercise more. Mm. And the reason is it doesn't work. Uh, I wish it did, but if it was just so simple as telling us that, there would not be a overweight person left in North America. Uh, so clearly there's something else going on and so what the wise uh, philosophy does through its um, program which we meet meet meet, meet, meet weekly yes. uh, it's a, a modular program so we go over 10 different subjects and so for the first half of it frankly a lot of it is just um, demystifying and getting rid of all the disinformation and misinformation that many women have been told over the years about dieting and exercise and good foods and bad foods and all the myths that are associated with that and then the second half of the, uh, of the program is it's really about, okay, now that we have dismantled some things, let's rebuild that self, but what are we going to stop, what are we going to start, and what are we going to continue? Mm. And in, mostly in, in areas of um, anger, self-esteem, body image, having really good information about food, how to embrace activity. Um, and if there's somebody who knows a little bit about yeah. that, <laughs> that would be we my Marilyn. star, <laughs> uh, Marilyn, who um, very briefly, about five years ago when I first did the pilot project, um, these 12 12 women who had no clue what was going on yeah. or what I was going to be doing with them volunteered and, and Marilyn was one of them. And what has it done for you, Marilyn? Well, five years ago I didn't know what it would do, Yeah. so that's the first thing. And I, I mean, we were part of this study, so we all ended up in a room together and I made great friends, which is the one thing we have to say. But really what it did for me is it allowed me to address the issues that Claire talks about. And it wasn't this aha moment, but I was able to deal with the anger and I finally said, I'm actually worth it. Mm. So there wasn't this sudden drastic change overnight, but from the time I started working with Claire and even before that, I've always had weight issues. You know, 12 years old, sent to fat camp mm. by a pediatrician. Right. So it's one mm. of those things you always deal with, but I've now lost 20% of my body weight. Wow. How much weight did you lose? 50 so? pounds. Wow. And it wasn't overnight, and it wasn't with this miracle diet, and it wasn't a pill, or it wasn't with anything. And I, I lost it, and I almost didn't know I lost it. But it was a matter of saying, I'm worth it. I stopped using food to suppress the anger, so I wasn't shoving a loaf of bread down my throat if I was mad at something or, or trying to choke myself because of it. And I suddenly realized I'd lost this weight, and people that had seen me realized, you look different, or, or, or there's something different about you. I would say, well, my hair grew in. No, it's not your hair, but I was walking taller. I was feeling better. I had more confidence. But along with it came the ability to move better or, or feel better or stop apologizing. So it was this cumulative effect mm. of everything that came together. It was a lot of work. I can't say that, you know, it was just getting up one morning and saying, I'm going to lose the weight. Right. So, but but you, that's where you say the program is over 10 months. That's right. And you stay with people. That's right. So okay. it's a small group format. We're usually 8 to 12. I think we were 12 in our group. Yeah. Uh, 8 to 12 women uh, meeting two hours every single week. Uh, and as I said, we're looking at these different subjects over that time. But I think you really hit on a good point, Marilyn, and that is really even though the women's details are all completely different, and that's what makes it so fascinating, but the core issues are really remarkably identical. Mm. Um, and I would say when you peel back all of the layers, for First of all, when we go on a diet, a traditional diet and exercise program, what we're doing is we're using a logical solution mm. to solve an emotional problem. We gotta go. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, I hate to do this, but there's a lot okay. more to say. I can yeah. hear that and see that, and I think okay. you guys are remarkable. And I want to tell people where to get information. You can find the group at wisephilosophy.ca. So log on to the website and find a group near you. Thanks a lot, much, guys. Thank Take you. care, everyone. Have a good night.